So today we're going to be doing an art reaction to Tank Girl. And what we're going to be doing while you see the piece of artwork, which is going to be right there, we are going to be doing uh, the Tank Girl trailer. We're going to look at the trailer. Now, I'm actually pretty familiar with Tank Girl. I was a fan of the comic book uh, before it came out as a movie. So for me, and I've obviously seen the movie. It came out years ago when I was a kid, and uh, I think maybe I was in junior high, high school, probably around ninth grade sometime. So for me, this is kind of like going back and checking out something from my childhood. So this is just going to be excellent, fun, and exciting, and I hope you like the artwork that I'll be producing for you. No mercy. You're going to really love this one. Bye. No water. There are three million liters of water. Now, I gotta tell you, uh, Lori Petty as uh, Tank Girl was actually a really good choice. I mean, at the time, she was kind of punky, rocky, you know, in, in her own right as a personality and as an actress. But uh, she kind of embodied the, uh, the total package and attitude of Tank Girl. So she was perfect pick for this uh the movie you know it was fun it was quirky for the time it was good i mean today if you go back and watch it, it's kind of silly you know it's, but it, it was fun and lori petty was actually perfect for the role at the time water underneath the blue dunes and you will retrieve it the odds of survival are a thousand to one and that's just the way she likes it hi my Talented, isn't she? Hi! Feeling a little inadequate? She'll be fun to break. I like things. Lori Petty. Did I hurt you yet? Ice tea. Turn it forward. Now, something I thought was kind of funny at the time when this movie came out, it had Ice-T in it, you know. Uh, at this time, they were starting to get a lot of uh, musicians into movies, especially from the rap and hip-hop community. I mean, it's been going on for a while at this point, but, I mean, it was really starting to take off. And these big-name rappers, they were, you know, looking for a way to uh, do more, you know. And as a personality, as someone in pop culture that was big at the time, you know, Probably the movie industry was actually looking to get these type of people into their movies. So, right here you have Ice Cube, and uh, excuse me, Ice Cube, Ice T, <laughs> Ice T, into the film. So, uh, uh, yeah, it, it worked. You know, he, you know, it did what it needed to. Um, all right, let's keep going with this thing. Where are you gonna get us off kill? And Malcolm McDowell. Just. How many of my men did you kill? United Artists Pictures presents. Just say, I won. I won. Tank Girl. What's it like knowing you're about to die? You don't uh, This part I think is really interesting. Like, you don't see this in trailers anymore where they actually list the music that's going to be in the movie you know it's like you got Bjork, Devo, Hole, Ice-T I mean all big names who are producing music at the time I mean Devo was more 80s but still you know a little bit of a throwback uh but uh yeah how how interesting I mean you'd never see that today uh, at least not any trailer I've seen recently where they actually tell you the music it, it just tells you how big music was at the time and the personalities uh yeah you know i i couldn't tell you maybe three or four big music groups today but back then i mean everyone knew all the different big bands and stuff oh man sad what the music industry is today <laughs> nice well there you go i mean what can you say i mean it's tank girl it's, she's awesome uh you know I, I find it interesting how uh 
sometimes you hear people they like, oh, well, we need bigger, you know, female representation and stuff like that. And it's like, you know, it's always been there. It's just maybe you weren't old enough to be around when it actually was. I mean, uh, superhero stuff. One of the earliest superhero TV shows is Wonder Woman. I mean, she, it was huge. Linda Carter, everyone loved it. I mean, Linda Carter was beautiful and she did really well in the in the show. It was fun for the time, you know. And, um, right here, you got Lori Petty doing Tank Girl. Uh, that was awesome. Big female roles. Uh, Sigourney Weaver in Aliens is one of my all-time favorite. I mean, I, I could care less who it was. Uh, Sigourney Weaver just did a fantastic job with it. Uh, it was a great movie, great franchise. One of the first really big franchises. You know, and it was a female lead. So there you go. Anyway, I hope you like this. Hope you enjoy the artwork that I produced for you right here of Tank Girl. She's obviously on a tank and it's fun and exciting. Yeah, I really enjoyed doing this piece. I, I gotta tell you, I think this was really the first time I had ever drawn Tank Girl. Uh, obviously, I took a little more from the comic books than I did from the movie because for me, you know, the, the comic book was always the big thing. Also, just to let y'all know, I will be putting this up on the Skits Comic website. So if you're interested in purchasing this piece, go on over to the skitscomic.com. As soon as you purchase it, we'll ship it out next day to you. And if you're not in the U.S., uh, just contact us and we'll get some shipping rates for you. Shipping rates all over the world right now are just so crazy that we can't actually put up uh, reliable shipping rates on the website. So just contact us and we'll be able to work something out for you if you're interested and you're outside of the United States. Anyway, thank you for checking this out and we'll see you next time.